Hello everybody and welcome back to 3DAF, this is Xander speaking, and today we're going to answer a question that we got through uh, Thingiverse from Builder417, and Builder417 says, silly question on my part, but I'm very new at this, how did you print multiple colors, and how do you know when to change them? Not sure my printer can do this, I have a stock A net, A8 printer. Well, good news Builder417, you can definitely do this. And we're going to show you how today. So, before we get started, we're going to get ourselves a brand new sign, as you can see on the screen right now. So, we'll make it through that, and then I'll show you how to print it multicolor. So before we post out this program, we're going to determine what layer we're going to switch over at. So for this program, we used a 0.2 layer height just to make it nice and easy to determine uh, which layer we want to change color at. So we're going to drop the bar down here. And 30 looks like a good place to cut off the first color. And 31 is where we're going to pick up for the second color. So because we use that 0.2 layer height, we automatically know that that's 6 millimeters and 6.2 millimeters. So now we can go ahead and post out our program and carry on from there. Now that we've got the program to post out, we're just going to make two quick copies, one for each phase of the program, and we're just going to call it one and two, just for simplicity. And we're going to open up program one, and then we're going to go control F for find, and Z6.2. Excellent. So it's whipped me on down there, and we're going to highlight this line, and just about all of the ones below it down to just about the end of the program, this M107 here, and hit delete. And that's it for this program. So what it's going to do is it's going to run like normal until it gets to the Z6.2 level within which it's going to stop and end the program like it would end any other program. We're going to save that up here. All right, now that we wrapped up with program one, we're going to move right into program two. So we'll open that bad boy up and control F, Z6.2. See it remembered from last time. We'll go to find next. And we're going to trim all the information above that. So we're going to start right on that line there and go right up to the M107 at the top here. And there we go. So our first coordinates are programmed in. But if we ran it like this, we are totally going to crash and make a huge mess at the same time. So we should probably address those two matters really quickly. Um, so first problem is that I have this uh, test bar being drawn along the side just to get my uh, extrusion out. So if I run it like that, there's a chance it might crash, there's a chance it might not, but that's uh, not a risk I'm willing to take. The second problem we would have here is that our Z only moved up to 2 millimeters, uh, but we know that the material is up to 6 millimeters. So we're going to need to get above that if we're going to get to the first position. If not, we're going to crash into the side of the print. So we're going to make that, uh, you know, uh, that a Z10. And then there's a redundant statement down here, so we'll remove that as well. And then the final area where we're actually going to end up with the mess is this G92 is setting our extruder number to zero, which is great. And then it's moving it to minus four uh, immediately after that to make sure that it's retracted enough. And it's not dragging strings all over your print on the way over. But our first pass down here has our extruder starting at 2,544. Uh, so if we were to run it like this, uh, it would run all the way through from zero to 2,544, and, and that would be a lot of filament sitting there, the uh, amount of filament that's in the whole print so far. So we don't want to do that. So we are going to use that second G92 line, uh, but we're going to copy and paste that 2,544 or so on into there. So it starts at the right point, and then it can continue on from there. Before we get to see the end result, let's talk about the simplified step. So we're going to slice, split, edit the first program, which is removing the second program's tool paths, edit the second program, removing the first program's tool paths, removing the test strip, add a Z clearance, set E start point. Don't forget that one, it'll make a really big mess. And now, without further ado, the finished sign. As you can see from the cross section, it's not colored in with permanent marker. It is actually two separate colored prints in a simple uh, dual layer format. Whoa. So before people ask me, 
what the inspiration for this sign is, I think it's pretty obvious. I've been uh, a machinist and a tradesman for, for over 10 years now, um, and there's always somebody snooping in your toolbox. But one of my favorite moments like that in my entire career, I was actually up adjusting a tool changer on a machine where it had seized mid-cycle, uh, and looked down and saw one of my colleagues rummaging through my toolbox, and I stood up on top of the machine and looked fierce and was like, Hey! Get out of my toolbox! And he ran away, and I don't think I saw him for another three months. That's it. The end. That's the joke for today. Ha 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 ha